Hi, this is Mary, your holistic recovery coach. Today, I quickly wanted to talk about a term you've maybe heard before. What does it mean? White knuckling. What does it mean to white knuckle it? White knuckling when it comes to um, drug addiction or alcoholism uh, basically means relying on self-will, on, on willpower, willpower I should say, um, willpower alone to stay sober. You know, I did uh, another video called uh, Dry Versus Sober, and this, this directly relates. So it's hard to say that you're really um, sober in the context that we discussed in that other, visit, uh, that other video that I just did, so I'll link to it below. Um, because to be, to be sober is not the same thing as being dry, and being dry really is um, definitely white knuckling it is, is pretty much the definition of, um, of how someone who's dry is, is uh, being dry. So basically that's, again, willpower alone, um, relying on willpower alone to not drink or use drugs um, when you're an alcoholic or addict. So think about the term white knuckling. Um, when have you ever um, experienced white knuckling <laughs> in your life? Maybe you gripped um, the steering wheel really tight when, when something scary happened, when, when you thought you were about to get in an accident, maybe on an amusement park ride. So it can be something that you experience because of um, kind of uh, joyful anticipation, um, but really it's usually a, it's about tension and fear and anxiety. Um, and when you think about it, like I was thinking about like white knuckling, you know, you're, you're holding yourself so tense that your knuckles become white. Why have they become white? Because you're cutting off your circulation. You're cutting off the, the natural flow. <laughs> what gives life, what supports life in, uh, in your joints, in your hands, in your tissues. So I think that's um, a really apropos kind of a, um, analogy for what we're talking about because to just rely on willpower alone to stay sober, dry, or clean um, as an addict, alcoholic, is um, usually a recipe for disaster. It doesn't usually work. It usually results in uh, what we call being dry, not sober. So again, reference that other video. We'll get into that in more detail. But um, listen, if it was willpower alone, <laughs> if, if addiction was a matter of uh, an issue with willpower, there would be far fewer addicted people in this world. Um, so it's not an issue of willpower, um, but it's interesting, the, the word power, you know, I talked about having, having that flow cut off, that natural flow. And so in white knuckling it, the white knuckle experience is about really trying to force something, right? And you're forcing something and you're so tense. And force is certainly not the way of power, right? I mean, think about, I don't know, think about martial arts. I don't know much about martial arts, but it's kind of like, you know, think about the, um, you know, the, the concept of, of um, you know, using, using self-defense and using someone else's kind of force, if you will, against them to, to effortlessly kind of deflect um, an attacker. I don't, I don't know if I'm explaining martial arts, right? But that's just my, uh, my layperson's random um, uh, perception of it. But, but that concept of, you know, um, when you, if you try to force something, um, th there could be a much stronger attacker. And if they're not coming from their natural state of balance and power um, in their own uh, fighting maneuver, if you will, then the smaller, less, physically strong defender can easily take that, you know, using their own power, um, manipulate the person with the force um, to their benefit. So um, when we're cutting ourselves off and we're white knuckling, we, we really are cutting off circulation. Think about it as we're cutting off our flow, we're cutting off our true power, our source of power. And so there are many sources of power in the world, but natural power, um, it's natural to, um, Think, well, I don't know, when I think about natural, what do you think about like, it's natural to hydrate and drink water. That's a natural source of, of you know, something that naturally gives us power that, that, that helps empower our function, our ability to function physically and to think clearly, et cetera. Even spiritually, people who meditate um, think, you know, when, if you're working in the healing field, like I do, you need to hydrate for all, you know, physical, mental, and spiritual reasons. Okay. Um, natural power. Um, you know, the, the power of literally um, people coming together and helping one another, that's a natural power, right? It's not forcing something, it's, it's really the concept of allowing. So surrender comes to mind as well. Um, 
I guess another term for another video. I probably, I'm sure I've talked about it in, in some regard, but you know, the act of surrender being, you know, kind of letting go of a way that's not working, <laughs> like trying to stay sober on willpower, <laughs> for example, surrendering the way that's not working um, to kind of go over to the winning side, um, you know, the way that does work or a way that does work. And um, white knuckling is kind of the opposite of that, right? It's um, trying to force um, and, you know, from a place of not wanting to um, probably give up power or admit defeat, but it's really not, um, it's really not a matter of um, failure if you suffer from um, the, the illness of addiction, alcoholism. Um, these are illnesses. It's a disease. We know that. And it's not a moral failure. It's not a failure of willpower. So if you are white knuckling it, also, you can only white knuckle it for so long, right? I mean, you can only maintain that tight, tight tension for so long before you have to, you know, then you, then you literally run out of, run out of juice, right? Run out of power, um, run out of fuel and, and have to let go. And at that point, um, you know, it's not, it's not, um, based on your own choice to let go. It's kind of like you've exhausted all your, uh, all your force. So why not surrender and surrender to, um, being open to natural sources of power, natural sources of help, ways that you can empower your body, mind, and spirit to get well, to overcome the, the grips of active addiction. And it's funny that I just use the word grip, right? It's like it's got you in its grips. Um, so you think to fight back, I'll get it in my grips. <laughs> and unfortunately, that's not really the way it works. It's not the effortless way. It's not the way of power. It's the way of force. And the way of force, as we can look in many uh, examples in the world, is not the winning uh, method. And if you're um, curious uh, intellectually about this concept or spiritually about this concept, power versus force, um, there's a great book by uh, Dr. Uh, David Hawkins, PhD, um, who uh, wrote Power Versus Force, one of my favorite books by him. I lent it to someone, I don't, I don't have it back, but I can see I've got a couple of his books on my book on my bookshelf. Letting Go is another excellent one, it's a later one. But Power Versus Force um, is an important concept to understand and it, and it pertains here. So white knuckling it, forcing it, trying to do it the hard way, um, and this way doesn't work. <laughs> experience has dictated that time and time again. But if you're curious or, or if you're, you know, thinking, uh, you know, kind of contrary to this and um, check out the video on dry versus sober, because uh, you can white knuckle it for only so long um, and some people longer than others, but um, there's certainly consequences to doing it that way as well. Um, so um, I will put some resources in the description. Um, please, I invite you to add your comments to this discussion. What do you think about white knuckling, uh, about the term, about uh, anything that I just discussed on this topic? Um, if you have ideas for other topics, please let me know as well. And uh, I appreciate if you can like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, um, and share this with anyone that you think uh, might benefit from it or wants to add to the discussion. Thanks and have a great 24 hours ahead.